Ted Zellers, thank you for having us here in Central Lawrenceville. Oh, thank you. So I understand you're a new resident to this area. That's right. I just bought a house um, on the other side of that block about a month ago. Why did you pick Lawrenceville? Well, I was looking at a lot of different neighborhoods, uh, both in the city and in some of the surrounding communities. Um, I was pretty open to a lot of factors, but the things I really like about living here are there's a continuous urban fabric. Um, there are no highways um, kind of blowing through the middle of, of neighborhoods. Um, I can walk to the business district on Butler Street, which is right in lower and central Lawrenceville and then continues on into upper Lawrenceville. I can walk to the business district in Bloomfield. I can get to the gallery district on Penn Ave um, yeah. between Friendship and Garfield. Mm -hmm plus a smattering of other businesses around the area. Do you find this a very diverse neighborhood? Yes, um, I'd say it's pretty diverse. Um, I have a somewhat different frame of reference since I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area. Oh, okay. Um, but I was definitely interested in, in being somewhere that has a different, um, different income ranges of people, uh, people of different ethnicities. Um, there are also people from other parts of the world in Lawrenceville, um, and it's definitely one of the more diverse neighborhoods in Pittsburgh. Definitely got a lot of culture going on here. Mm -hmm. So I understand you ride a bike quite a bit. Yeah, another reason I picked Lawrenceville is because it's a cinch to get almost, I mean, anywhere I've ever needed to go on a bike, basically. Um, it's, there are, um, it's an easy trip to get downtown to work every day. Mm -hmm. um, I can also use the bike lanes on Liberty Ave, which aren't too far away, to connect over to Shadyside and Oakland, and then I can go from there pretty much anywhere else I need to. If you were to change something or add something or even take something away from this area, what would it be and why? Well, I definitely like to see more bike lanes. I've talked to a lot of people who have said, oh, I'd like to bike to work. I'm interested in biking more, but I'm scared to bike in traffic. If there were more lanes around, if, for instance, the trail between downtown that goes through the Strip District up to Lawrenceville were completed, I think a lot of people would utilize that. You think that would be something that would even attract other people to Lawrenceville because of that trail? I think so, definitely. I mean, there are a lot of neighborhoods that I did not consider living in because they're so difficult to bike through. Um, and if there were more bike trails around the city, I would have considered living in other places That's as well. That's a good point. That's a good point. Where do you see Lawrenceville or Central Lawrenceville 25 years from now? Well, I mean, one thing that's really great about Lawrenceville is the community. Everybody is really invested in the future here. Um, I was just at a community meeting about the possible expansion to the Thunderbird Cafe a couple weeks ago. Wow. And there was a there was a lot of passionate uh, people in that room. Excellent, that's wonderful. So you actually do have mm -hmm. a community um, where you guys come together, like you have a community group, an outreach where you guys all talk. Yeah, Lawrenceville United. Um, there are a few other groups. I just moved here, so um, I'm not. I don't know everybody, um, but there seems to be a lot of focus in Lawrenceville on community oriented development and new projects that really benefit people who live locally um, okay. and not just people who live other places. So I really like that about living here. Yeah, it's one thing for somebody outside to change your, your, <clears throat> your community. It's another thing when the people in the community make the decisions. Definitely. Do you know, and like I said, I know you're new here, but do you know any of your local heroes, um, local landmarks that you think are fabulous about Lawrenceville? Um, I like... Doughboy Square. Oh. It's a little underutilized at the moment, mm -hmm. um, but I'm hoping as time goes by, some new businesses will move into there. Um, one good thing is that even though Bike Pittsburgh is no longer in Doughboy Square, they had to move because they're growing so large that they needed more space. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. It says a lot about biking in Pittsburgh and how committed Pittsburgh is to that community. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful. If there were a neighborhood in Pittsburgh that you would emulate or uh, not, <laughs> um, what neighborhood would that be and why? Well, I actually really like Bloomfield mm -hmm. because it has a 
wide array of businesses that service people right in the community. You can walk to the bank, the laundromat, grocery store, everything you need to go to is right there. Right there. So you don't have to leave your, I like the idea that the dollar stays in the community. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, and it eases parking issues. Mm -hmm. It's good for the environment. You get to see your neighbors. And it's very spontaneous when you're kind of walking to all the businesses you'd like to patronize because you'll go by other businesses and say, oh, that's interesting. I've never been inside there before. I didn't know that was there. <laughs> yeah. Um, like one day I was going down Liberty Ave and I saw this um, kind of trinket store, which wasn't really the type of store I'd normally go into. But I decided, oh, it's on the way. I'll just pop in here. And there was a bakery in the back and I got some delicious pizzelles. That is wonderful, and, and I think that's a great way to say, something to say about people in Lawrenceville, being creative like that. you got a trinket store with a bakery in the back. It's not many yeah. places you could say do that kind of thing. And Lawrenceville has a lot of those kind of businesses, too, and I'm just starting to discover them as I've been walking up and down Butler Street. There are a lot of really cool places to, uh, to investigate. So if I were to come out of town and come here and come to your neighborhood, you would suggest that uh, how I would, you know, uh, become acclimated with the area just to walk it? Absolutely. Safe? Yeah, it's Lawrenceville is built for people. Uh, many p neighborhoods in Pittsburgh are, um, which is one thing I really like about the city, but not every neighborhood is. Right. And right. I really like the human scale of everything. The library is right across the street from where I live. I can walk right there. Um, there aren't big surface parking lots kind of dominating the landscape. Uh, what do you think about the green situation in Lawrenceville? Do you, do you see it? Uh, is it? Is it something that's going on now or something that you see in the future or do you yeah see? we've got the community garden um, which is really exciting um, there's some tree plantings and things going on um, I don't actually know too much about that but I've gotten good vibes good vibes that's all we need is good <laughs> vibes I've actually had some wonderful vibes <clears throat> being here and I truly have enjoyed talking to you thank you and welcome to your neighborhood your new neighborhood thank you thank you for having us